AITA for not being welcoming to a new neighbor that has made me uncomfortable. Throw away. I, 35F, live in a small condo building in a large southern city. We are all friendly and have spent a lot of time together over the last 10 months. The majority of us work from home and text throughout the day. One owner decided to move out and listed her unit for rent. The following events have all happened with the new tenant colon 1. I went to throw away trash in the dumpster outside our building. I discover two masked men using a flashlight to look into our utility closet. I ask what they are doing and they advise that they are there to tour a unit and looking for stairs. The utility closet does not look like an entrance, it is covered in lattice, and has no light. I ask them to leave as that was not an entrance. I inform the HOA, we purchase a combination lock for the utility closet. 2. A few weeks later, we are informed that the unit has been rented. I again go to throw away trash and a male, mid-twenties, gets out of a car and tells me they are the new tenant and need the code to access the entrance. I told him to contact his landlord for the code, I uncomfortable providing it since I did not know who they were. They proceed to block me and tell me they need the code, they want to move items in, I can trust them, and just give it to them. I am extremely uncomfortable as I am alone in a parking lot with a man that I have told no to, and who is not listening to no. I finally relent, walk to the front door, and enter the code. He commented he wouldn't look at me entering the code since it was such a secret. I ignore his comment, walk away, and inform our text chain of these events.3. A few days later, at the end of the workday, I get up to close my blinds as it is dark out and my lights are on. This new tenant is standing on the other side of the window staring into my unit. One of my male neighbors has become friendly with this tenant and tells him that I do not like him. And lists the reasons above. This male neighbor has called me a bitch and said I should be friendlier and I am making the new tenant feel unwelcome. I explain that as a woman. This man has made me uncomfortable and I have no obligation to be friendly with him. As he is a tenant he is not on any WA emails and should be communicating with his landlord. Standard practice in our building for tenants. The female neighbors in the building all agree with me. And if stated my feelings are valid, our building is clearly divided on this issue with the men, telling the women to be more welcoming, and the women explaining to the men that women do not have to be friendly with anyone that they choose not to be friendly with. I am constantly being told I am being a bitch by the male neighbor friendly with a new tenant. The new tenant has now left a bottle of wine and card at my door and I want to place them back at his door and continue to not communicate with him. Am I being the asshole in this situation? NTA nobody has the right to make you feel unsafe or otherwise threatened. Especially in your own home. Have you spoken to his landlord slash the owner of his unit? I assume the two of you are somewhat friendly. NTA, this man has cornered you in a parking lot at night against your will and stood outside your apartment window in the dark. WTF are your male neighbors on about that they think this is in any way acceptable behavior. I would just keep reiterating that short story anytime someone brings up not being friendly to him. NTA, but two things. One, contact their landlord and let them know the weird and creepy shit his new tenants are doing. Two, just because you are a woman doesn't mean you are socially obligated to be nice to men. All of those fucking men think you should be nice instead of that other guy not being a fucking creep. How are they going to handle it if that's their mom, their daughter, their wife, and don't get me wrong. They shouldn't have to imagine if it was a woman close to them. They should just fucking get it. But they don't. Most men don't get harassed, catcalled, or raped. So they don't know the constant fear and apprehension, even in your own house, that somebody WHO isn't entitled to your time, attention, oh our body wants access regardless of what you want. 3. See if you can get his full name and run a criminal background check. This is sketchy ass behavior, and as he's on parole or probation for certain sex crimes, he has to notify his neighbors. The fucking audacity of these men. 
NTA here you have a standard clash between women feeling unsafe and men insisting on their right to make them feel that way. Your feelings are valid. Furthermore, you have no obligation whatsoever to be friendly with anyone. The men who were siding with the new neighbor are, collectively, the TAs. NTA, there's a difference between being welcoming versus being civil or polite. You do not have to be friendly, neighborly, or accommodating to anyone, especially someone who has been demanding and intimidating. Everyone has boundaries yet yours are not being respected. The new tenant is now bothering you by attempting to have conversation or interaction that you clearly have indicated you're not interested in. If the behavior continues, then it's intentional harassment. The fact that the men are mocking your behavior indicates they don't see the seriousness of the situation. I suggest you start complaining to the WA board in writing about non-compliance with policies or rules, such as the code, feeling uncomfortable or threatened, blocked your movement until you enter the code, being insulted, name-calling, and receiving unwanted personal attention, the wine and card. Let them know various men are attempting to deny you freedom of choice and violate your right to privacy and that you don't feel safe or secure. If the WA board doesn't respond or react, elevate to the association's attorney and property management company. Let various parties know that you're not going to accept what is happening. Non-compliance by the new tenant should be documented by the board since failure to follow rules or regulations could result in eviction after a few warnings to stop the offending behavior. Also consider discussing this with your local police since someone looking in your window and leaving unwanted gifts could be viewed as stalking or intrusion into your personal space. Be sure you document everything that has transpired and anything new going forward as you may need proof in the future and having a history of what is occurring could prove to be quite helpful. NTA you are under no obligation to be welcoming and friendly to someone who is so aggressive with you and who demanded you give him the code to your building to let him inside when he was a complete stranger to you. Why wouldn't he just call the landlord instead of targeting you and forcing you to do it instead? And then to discover him standing at your window just staring at you is very frightening. This guy sounds like a total creep and you're right to stay away from him. NTA and the fact he left you a bottle of wine creeps me out even more for some reason. I would photograph it, then place it back in front of his door. Don't even bring it inside. He is forcing his way into your life. Just keep ignoring him. NTA, read the gift of fear. There's a very good reason you feel uncomfortable around this person. Protect yourself. Frankly with what you have described I am scared for you. NTA, men to women, be friendly and welcoming to strangers. Quote, woman gets raped by stranger. Men to women, well, you shouldn't have been so friendly and welcoming to strangers. NTA, why is preferable for a woman to sacrifice feeling safe for fear of being rude? Listen to your gut. Who the F cares if some idiot neighbors think you are a bitch anyway? Better to be a safe bitch than a raped, molested, murdered nice girl. I hope my daughter knows to tell people to fuck off if she feels unsafe. Who cares about them? Look after yourself. Let me in. You can trust me? Okay there, Ted Bundy. I don't think so. Don't accept the poison wine. NTA. Dude was being creepy. Especially since he was staring inside your home. I'm sorry but no normal person just stares into their neighbor's window. Guys don't understand stuff like this because it doesn't happen to them. I'd inform your landlord about all this so they at least have a record or something of this dude being creepy. NTA Anyone who pressures you for a combo is not a good person. There is a sense of power involved in doing that to a stranger that should have everyone red flags up. NTA. I was once working out. 
A large strange man knocked on the glass wanting to get into the gym area because that's where the vending machines were located. I was alone. 5 feet 3 inches and was about 135 pounds soaking wet. He was 6, 0 and 250 at least I refused. When I was leaving, he followed me and yelled at me for not letting him in because he was new to the complex. I walked very quickly across the street, nearly getting hit by a car just to get away from him. He said, I just needed some help. I said, I don't know you. I am not helping you, dude. And was finally able to walk through my security gate to escape. Men have zero idea what it's like to be female. It's downright dangerous. Fuck those guys. We owe them nothing and I would rather be seen as and called a bitch or other names than be dead in a ditch. NTA. He made you uncomfortable, so you don't have to be nice to him. NTA. I would see what the card says but not open the bottle and maybe leave it outside your door rather than going back. Don't give in unless the H sincerely apologize. People like this don't care unless they are unable to feel good about their actions. Maybe I'm speaking as a female. But don't talk to this guy alone and only with someone you trust if you have to talk to him. You don't really owe him an explanation to make him feel better. Just be prepared to also have this be a thorn in your side until something happens. If you're really scared I recommend cameras facing outside if you believe the staring is habitual. Don't walk and say anything about a camera in your own place yet. NTA, you don't know these people shit. It's in what not a family. And even then I would argue you don't have to put up with family either. That said, you don't have to be friends or friendly. But he did drop off wine is what I gather is a peace offering. Give the wine to someone who wants it and try to move one. But keep the taser, pepper spray on you. NTA. You are under no obligation to have a relationship with anyone if you don't want to. Especially this guy who clearly doesn't understand what no means. And all his other creepy gestures. It's not your job to make him feel welcome even if he was the nicest guy on the planet. He should mind his business and worry about not making other people feel uncomfortable. Ah. It's disgusting and sounds like a power play and super manipulative and childish and just all around bad behavior. NTA. Anyone who thinks calling someone a BTCH will magically make them want to be nicer is an idiot. Our building is clearly divided on this issue with the men telling the women to be more welcoming and the women explaining to the men that women do not have to be friendly with anyone that they choose not to be friendly with him. I wonder why that could be. S. N. T. A. You aren't a bitch. You have boundaries. It's not your fault your neighbor was never taught the difference. N. T. A. Good for you for standing your ground. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.